Hello, Superbox fan. Welcome to Superbox Official. We are thrilled to announce the release of our latest product, the Superbox S4 Pro Edition. This new edition features many new designs and functions that set it apart from the S3 Pro Edition. To begin, let me show you how to connect it to the internet. There are two options available: Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi. For the most stable connection, you can plug in a network cable directly into the Ethernet port located at the back of the Superbox S4 Pro. Alternatively, you can use Wi-Fi. The Superbox S4 Pro supports both 2.4G and 5G networks and features the 2T2R dual-band Wi-Fi design of S2 and S3. You can set up Wi-Fi during the initial setup process. Or by clicking the gear icon at the bottom left of the home screen, selecting Network and Internet, finding your home Wi-Fi, clicking it, and、uh, entering your password, clicking Enter. That's it. You are now ready to enjoy all, all of the features of your Superbox S4 Pro Edition. The next step is to pair your remote control to enjoy Bluetooth and voice command functions. Just like the S3 Pro Edition, before pairing, the remote can be used as an infrared remote by pointing it at the box. To start pairing, press the voice button on the remote, or move the cursor to the microphone icon on the home screen, and press the OK button. This will take you to the pairing guide. First, make sure the remote is close to the box. Then follow the guide and press the OK and the return buttons together for eight seconds. The remote will begin flashing. Press the OK button again, and the flashing light will stop. When it shows connected, it means the Bluetooth function is activated. After pairing, you don't have to. Aim the remote at the box every time, except the first time you turn on the box, since Bluetooth has not been activated yet. You can now use the voice command functions too. If the Bluetooth function is not working properly, you can click on Settings, and then、um, Remotes and Accessories. The RC100 is your current paired、uh, remote control. Click on it and select on pair to reset the pairing process and try again. Now let's learn how to install featured apps. First, go to the App Store. When you enter the App Store for the first time, you will be asked to agree to the terms and the conditions. Once you agree, you can find Blue TV V4, Blue VOD V4, and Playback V4. Simply click on each one to install them automatically. There is also a Backup TV app that serves as a backup in case the Blue apps are under maintenance. After all the apps have been downloaded, you can go back to the home screen and place each one where you like. Setting shortcuts is easy. Just move the remote to the tile you want to set, click it, and select the app. To remove it, navigate to the tile and press the menu button on your remote. Now let's move on to the hotkeys function. Click the keyboard icon on the home screen and look for the FM tag at the bottom of the home screen. Click it to set up the most frequently used apps to hotkeys, like assigning one to Blue TV, two to Blue VOD, three to Playback, four to Backups. 
Now when you get back to the home screen, press the corresponding number button to go directly to the app you want to use.